all right everybody welcome back to another video um, I want to talk about Linux tutorial on a program for tabletop gaming card gaming called wait for it cockatrice swear to God look I don't know what the name means I don't know where the name came from I haven't done no Google research on it the name of the program is cockatrice c-o-c-k-a-t-r-i-c-e Cockatrice. Don't ask me what the fuck they meant when they named this program, but here it is. So what you want to do is you want to make your way to your favorite search bar. You want to find cockatrice.github.io. The easiest way to do that is just Google um, cockatrice right here. C-O-C-K-A-T-R-I-C-E. And you, and you know that's probably pronounced something different. And I'm fucking it up because I'm from the deep south and I don't give a shit. <laughs> I just don't care. That's what I see, cockatrice. So, anyway, put that in your search bar and um, go to this website. And when you get here, you're going to notice, first thing, it's open source and it's multi-platformed. My son called me last night and said, hey, Dad, I found this program. We like to play Magic the Gathering. Would you be willing to check this out for me? So, I did a quick search, found the page. They have Windows, Mac, 11, Mac 10. They have Ubuntu, 20. They have Debian, what is that, Debian 19. And they have Fedora, 32, 33. So, you've got a pretty wide range of systems that this will run on. Um, and it, it works really nice. Uh, I just downloaded the Ubuntu file. I'm running Mint 20, which is fine. It's based on Ubuntu, so it works. It works fine. Uh, my Mint gaming system has been great so far. I cannot complain about Mint. It's done everything I needed to do every day. Uh, so you want to find this page. You want to download the file of your choice, whatever your system is. And then you're going to want to go to your downloads folder right here. See, downloads, Cockatrice, Prismatic Bridge 280, and it says it's Ubuntu Focal.dev. So it's a .dev package. So all you do is just install it. When, uh, Linux knows what to do with it. So once it's installed, you're going to go over here and find games, and it puts it right here. And it also gives you an Oracle downloader. Now, I don't know what that's for. I didn't run into an Oracle question or problem that I remember during install. Um, it asks you for your email address, confirm your email, it asks you for a username and a password. Once you confirm your password and you're done, you go to your email, you get a code, you paste the code in, and you're registered. It, it was it, the whole process of installing and registering took maybe four and a half, five minutes tops. And that was waiting on the email for a minute, so it didn't take long. Um, once it's here, you're going to just run the application normally. It comes up, and there's tips of the day thing, and you can go through the next tip of the day and the next tip of the day until you see everything you need to see. Um, this is a really nice deck builder for Magic the Gathering. I don't know what it does with Yu-Gi-Oh! or other card games, my kids played Yu-Gi-Oh! I never got into it. But I played Magic the Gathering back in my early 20s, mid-20s. And I played online since then through Steam. Um, there was a couple of Magic the Gathering games. One of them I played in particular I liked. Um, and they quit supporting it. And it doesn't even run now on Linux. Um, but the, the, you, you can pick a card. Uh, let's just pick Goblin, and over here I can go to Image, and there's what the card looks like. And uh, we can see it cost it cost two plus one red. Uh, we can see a description, and it'll tell you uh, it's two and two. Color identity is red. Main card type creature. It gives you a uh, normal layout. Uh, converted mana three. Uh, it gives you the reading on the card. 
When this creature enters the battlefield, you may put a name sticker on it, blah, blah, blah. It tells you all that info, or you can do both. And it'll actually show you the card, and then give you the info in text. Or you can go to image and just squint, like I do, because I'm half blind, and try to read the damn card. Um, this works for all the cards the same way. It changes the picture. There are text files you can download. You can also upload your own if you have a favorite deck created. Um, and people are swapping decks that way. Uh, my son downloaded a couple of decks. Uh, this text files. They're, they're kilobytes, little bitty files. But it's 60 card deck. And you go to your deck editor and load deck. And I've already got that ready, so there it is. And all I had to do was take the starter deck he gave me, go through this list of cards, and there's a crap ton of cards here. Um, and I, there wasn't any vampires in this deck, and I love my vampires. So I decided to kind of beef it up. And uh, I took the deck they had, which was a black and white deck, which is what I like is black and white. And... I incorporated, I took some cards out that I didn't like and just put the cards in I did like. I saved that file. This is a saved file. My save file. This is not the same deck we downloaded. I altered that deck in this program using this search bar to just search for like, I just searched for vamps. B, P, A, M, P, I, R, E, vampire, bam. There's all the vampires. Every one of these are vampire cards. That's the whole list right there. All the vampire cards available right there. And it gives you mana cost and all the info on that card you need. And I just incorporated the, the few vampires I wanted, the bats and stuff in here. And uh, made this a little stronger deck. And we played last night uh, on... One I'm assuming is their server, their public servers, and it ran it ran great. Um, when you go into the game, it gives you a board, and the top player and the bottom player it stacks them. Uh, my son was on the top, uh, my game was on the bottom, and if you have up to four players, so I'm assuming it would cut that space down and give you four blocks. We're gonna try this with at least three people tonight or tomorrow. And I will be making a video of that gameplay. Um, I'd like to live stream some gameplay sooner or later. Not sure yet. Um, but it's really neat the way it works because it puts the the untap and the clear and the roll button and all that. I'm not going to show you that. You can figure it out yourself. Uh, it's really self-explanatory when you go go through. But um, you just go to Cockatrice and... Start local game. You can play on your local servers or register to server. And um, then you've got your deck editor and settings. Um, go through your settings. It's never a bad idea to go through settings. There's a lot of settings here. Um, I think under appearance, I actually changed the current theme to Velvet Marble because it was set to uh, default. And I didn't really like the textures of the default board I'm not sure what velvet marble looks like either but I've got it set and we'll try it next time we play um, but there's a lot of I don't know if there's any automated features here for card gaming like um, auto tap untap every time it's your turn or something like that I think you manually have to do that but I mean look if you were playing Magic the Gathering with somebody else what would you have to do? You'd have to manually untap all your cards. That's what it's about. It's about sitting across the table from somebody virtually and going, oh, well, got to untap my cards. Now it's my turn. You know, now I've got to draw a card. And now I've got to see what will play. So it, it, it puts you in that situation. It's not like games where, where you click the button and... It automatically draws you a card, and then you click on the card, and it automatically plays it and taps the land for you. There was some of those out. No. You have to manually tap your land and untap when you're done. And so, uh, But it runs great, and like I said, it 
cockatrice. I don't know where in the fuck that word came from. That's what it says, cockatrice. Uh, anyway, you can look it up. So, runs great on Linux. Don't know about Mac. If you run on Mac, leave a comment. Let me know. If you play on Mac, let me know how it runs. Um, if you run on uh, Arch or SUSE, whatever it was, let me know if it runs, how well it runs. Um, I haven't looked it up yet for other systems, but I'm sure it probably runs well on Windows. Should. I don't know. But anyway, that's the video. Hope y'all have a great day. Hope this showed you something new. Maybe something you like to get into, or if you're into uh, MTG, uh, this gives you a, a way to play with other people that maybe you didn't have before. And when we start, I'll be posting maybe our server name. And if you want to join our game, send me a comment. Let me know you'd be willing to play with us. Me and my son will tag you in and uh, make some new friends. Who knows? So, anyway, that's it. Have a great day. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, happy Friday. Blah, blah, blah. Have a good weekend. Be safe. Talk to you later.